So now in my last video, somebody recommended I uh, try this uh, circuit that I did in the last video with uh, yellow LEDs. So I'm touching the uh, ends of the LEDs and that uh, that backfired. I was hoping to uh, discharge and I think I uh, charged the uh, capacitor with uh, with my body right there. So I think we discharged the LEDs. I believe the uh, overhead light will end up getting the result that we uh, are going to get here. There you can see now the LED is lit up. That is the main thing. But um, when it comes to the current, so versus the uh, white, and uh, I think it turned off because uh, the power supply, it bumped and it, it kind of turns off briefly and uh, may have discharged the capacitor. But in any case, there you can see, we got about six milliamps of current. We got about nine with the uh, white LEDs. And I played around with this a little bit um, before I started filming. It looks like uh, about six is the best we can do. But I think it's also getting to um, that quicker. But yellow LEDs have a forward voltage of uh, two volts. The white ones that we used in the earlier um, video, they have a forward voltage of three volts. So when you're shining light on them, the higher forward voltage they got, the higher voltage they will produce. But they can only produce very uh, small amount of uh, current. That's why we're amplifying it. Covered in the last video. So now for some reason it seems to be taking a lot longer, um, if at all, to get this to light up with the uh, white LED. So I'm going to try to uh, discharge it there, touch in both ends, try to get all three LEDs looking at the same spot. And now I'm going to uh, shove the uh, flashlight on there. So okay, yeah, it's going quicker now. I don't know what the problem was before. I think I was too far away. Um, but yeah, there you can see we've gone up six, seven, eight. And um, if I get the light right, I know I can get nine, like I saw in the uh, last video. So, yeah, it doesn't look like um, it lights up near as quickly. There's the uh, lit LED. Um, but we had more current going through. So we could charge uh, the capacitor to a higher voltage and uh, get more current, uh, ultimately, going through the circuit. But it didn't rise as quickly as the yellow one that is for sure and now really quickly we will try red these uh red leds i have used before whereas the uh, white and the yellow ones i had just taken out of the kit but i kind of expect this will act uh, like the yellow ones and uh can't remember if it's going as fast or not um but yeah it uh it's lighting up and again yeah these are older so let's try um some newer red leds so now these are uh, three brand new LEDs. I'll try to line them up uh, really nicely there. And uh, let's uh, see if uh, that uh, does better. So yeah, I think that's doing, I think that's going quicker. Maybe I'm wrong. If we can get up to six milliamps. So yeah, position of the light does make a difference, but uh, nope, I think that may be about the limit where we are. I don't think that it mattered that I was using older LEDs before. So now we got uh, blue LEDs. These are uh, used LEDs, but uh, I don't think it makes a difference whether you use uh, new or used. And it looks like blue LED does uh, really good. I think I would probably go blue LED over uh, yellow if I was going to use uh, LEDs in this circuit. So maybe that's what I used in the original uh, video because this is an old diagram and one LED isn't uh, exactly facing the other two so blue LED does pretty good and finally we got a few uh, green LEDs again trying to make sure they're facing the center also should make sure the uh, capacitor is uh, discharged so um, there we go I think that is good enough and uh, let's see how we do so we're mostly focused on the current that we see on the uh, power supply and um, of course it's gonna take a little bit to uh, get up the steam because we got the forward voltages that are being dropped but yeah looks like um you know maybe that's like close to uh, what the blue led was i don't think it uh kicked in quite as fast but i could be wrong now um this is basically stored charge in the capacitor probably with additional help from the light falling on the leds for how slow this is uh going down and um so yeah it's going to take the capacitor a while to discharge because hardly any current is coming from the uh, capacitor the light that you see is uh, mostly coming from that lower transistor right there the uh, capacitor is just uh, transferring uh, the voltage that it should be applied 
so we're dropping about 0.6 volts there another 0.6 volts there so about 1.4 total approximately and the uh, red LED between about a volt and a half and two volts depending on how much current's flowing through it a little less at lower current so to wrap this up what inspired me to uh, make this video was somebody uh, commented in the last video that uh, another youtuber used uh, yellow LEDs they thought that might uh, work better and I thought maybe they would I don't know um, but in any case uh, this is the white LED if you look at it right um, it's yellow the dye is yellow it's just clear packaging the light that comes out is white and uh, ooh, I hope that doesn't short circuit anything it kind of fell between the uh, circuit but in any case this is also white uh, right there but uh, the LEDs themselves are yellow when no light is coming out of them so um, maybe if uh, you got large LEDs if you want to make you know solar cells maybe the uh, outright yellow ones are are better and uh, maybe these uh, white ones are better just they they look yellow I don't know um you know all stuff you can experiment with that's uh, all this circuit really is is to be a fun experiment there's better ways even if you're using LEDs to get a light sensor um, but it still good practice these are common components uh, pretty much everybody has LEDs pretty much everybody has NPN bipolar junction transistors and then that's another LED uh, right there 220 ohm resistor protect it because um, we got five volts although we are losing a bunch of voltage from the drops that's why we're lower current than when we put that uh, five volts directly across the resistor and LED because we got some more drops there and uh, pretty much everybody has a bright flashlight so it's just kind of a fun circuit mostly um, with people that have the basic components half of a microfarad exact value doesn't matter for the capacitor almost everybody has capacitors so in any case, rambled on about that long enough. Uh, hope you enjoyed. Looks like uh, so far people liked uh, the last video. So hopefully this one too. Thanks for watching. Make sure you check out one of the other videos I posted on the screen. And check out the links down below. They all help out a lot. I'll see you in the next video.